Good morning. I'm Eckerhart, the German butcher. Tomorrow I want to make some sausage and I have to prepare my casing for tomorrow. But to, to tie off some casings, I need some twine, like this. I saw on TV and Facebook once they cut one at a time, so I want to show you quick how I do it. It all depends how long your arm is, if you can do it like this and I'll show you later on another way. Actually, when I put my twine in here, that's still too short, so I make it long, I hold it like this. And I just go around like this. A few times, whatever you want to do, you can go 1, 10, 20 at a time. And I cut the bottom, and then you want to make sure that they're even. And then you cut the other side. And what we normally do, we'll put, take one and put one around, and put a nut in, where so you can hang it up. Or when you, you, you use, uh, use it right away, you put it around somewhere on you, so you find it all the time. And you have your twine always ready when you need it. Now, if your arm is too short, I made a piece of cardboard. All you do is hold the first one I like this way and just go around. I guess you get my point. And when you're done with it, you cut one side, but then you want to make sure that they're even length. Believe me, they happen to us, you don't too much in the hurry, then you have some long ones and some short ones. Like this. Then the same ones. That's the first one. That's how high that's how I cut my twines before I use them. And we of course we have five different colors. Now I want to show it one more time with a cardboard. Actually I took a twine what I have here and made the same length on the cardboard. If you have short, smaller elbows, it's very good to get one of those. It's nice if the twine is not too short to, to work with. So but now I cut a little hole in here. So the twine holds on it and I use, I use white most of the time if I can. The white one is from here, from America, the other ones are from Germany. The American one is uh, not so hard on your fingers. So in here I need a few more, that's what I will use later on. I think I have enough white ones for today. I just go like this, cut it, and then hold it even. And cut it again. Now you got plenty twine to use to work with. And they're all exact the same size. And I hang it up here, you will see later on why. You know, if you want to do the twine, just grab here, you don't have to look, and you got the twine in your hand. Good morning. My name is Eckerhart, the German butcher. Today, I want to tie or prepare some casings for sausage making. I have your beef around, I think they call it. In Germany, we call it Kampfstärme. So, basically, you can lay this on a table and cut them to the size you want. I want to have it about that long. But I don't want to cut every one separate, so I do the same like I do with the casings. I just look how much long, but, but that long, and make a few loops like this. I should say this, I washed the casing already earlier, so they're clean already. That's a little shy. 
you can have a few short ones because you obviously know, want to give some away then uh, give him the little ones. So now again you want to see that they are about even length. Let it fall on your knife and cut. Now I want to time down. I have a length knife here. Now I take a twine and I have here I should throw this, made myself a hook, but I can do over the edge of the table. <coughs> now I can put my twine around it, take a casing and put over the edge. Normally we do one this way and then we lay it over once and one more time. This is important when you make liver sausage or blood sausage. So the fat doesn't cook out. If you make a raw sausage, you don't have to tie it over. Since I use, don't, I don't know what I will use it for, if I have some leftover, so I tie them all the time that way. This, and then one more time turn over, and this. One more time, I lay the twine over, maybe I should show this a little bit closer, I take the end, lay it over, and now with the lower finger, I hold the twine together so it cannot slide on me. And one more time, I didn't explain that too good, so we go one more time. This, put this over, and now you grab not only the intestines, you take the twine too, so it cannot move on you. A ah, little too short. Now you can make the top loop much smaller because all you need to have is put a smoke stick through it. So like this, then you have more rope on the end, it's easier to work with. So now when you make sausage, you don't have to fiddle around with all that stuff. You have already something to hang it on to. All you do is on a rope like this, put a nut in, or two, then the next one. I don't want to use the, or waste the, the, the thick casings. So you go like this and put a nut in, and then you throw it once over and make a second nut in. That's how I prepare my casings. Now you saw how I do it with my uh, beef rounds. But you can also do it with beef middles or any pork casings you want to put sausage in. Or if you have artificial casing in one piece, you do it the same way. So that's the end of my demonstration. I hope you have a happy sausage making day. I come back one more time. When I have a certain amount done by 10 or 12, I put a different color twine through it. So when I take it out, number one, I don't have to take so many out and I know it's fine to cut, otherwise you may cut the wrong one. So I got here three bundles.